Todd Beamer was born November 24, 1968 in Flint, Michigan. He was born to David Beamer and Peggy Jackson Beamer. He and his two sisters were raised with a strong biblical value system and worth ethic. The family moved to Poughkeepsie, New York, and then Wheaton, Illinois. He grew up very good at, at athletics, played, playing baseball, basketball, and soccer. He attended Fresno State University to play baseball. But then he decided he didn't want to play baseball in his career and went home. He attended Wheaton College, a co-ed Christian school northeast of Chicago. He met his future wife, Lisa Beamer, in a seminar class. Their first date was November 2, 1991. He planned to celebrate their 10-year anniversary in 2001. He earned a master's in business administration from DePaul University in Chicago. He began his career with Oracle Corporation. He became an accountant manager there and was very successful. He and Lisa got married in 1994. They both taught senior high school Sunday school class at Princeton Alliance Church. They had two sons, David, four at the time, and Drew, two. In 2000, they moved to Cranberry, New Jersey, which is 15 miles from Trenton. Todd's work would cause him to travel up to four times a month. For being a top sales reporter, he and his wife earned a five-day trip to Italy. They returned home September 10th at 5 p.m. He had a business meeting to go to and could have left that Tuesday night, but he wanted to spend time with his family and wife who was pregnant with their third child. He left home at 6.15 a.m. on September 11th, planning to return with a flight that night. Todd Beamer was one of the last passengers to board United Airlines Flight 93, scheduled to depart from Newark, New Jersey at 8.02 a.m. on September 11, 2001, heading towards San Francisco. He had a first-class seat for the long-haul flight across the country. Todd was one of the 15 passengers that booked their ticket last minute for the flight. United Airlines Flight 93 was a daily flight from Newark to San Francisco, a flight very common to business travelers, many of whom received upgrades to first class due to their frequent fly flight. The four hijackers were seated in the first class as well as Beamer. Reports tell us that the hijackers jumped out of their seats and charged towards the cockpit. They broke down the door and stabbed the pilots. They took over the cockpit and started turning the plane toward Washington, D.C. Two of the hijackers ran through the aisles of the plane and killed one of the first class passengers. After that, all of the passengers fled and huddled in the back of the plane. There were only 37 passengers and 7 crew members on the plane. It was a surprising low number of passengers on a flight that could normally hold around 200 passengers. The passengers and the flight attendants realized they were in jeopardy and had to do something. There were airphones on the plane, so passengers were able to reach out to loved ones, letting them know there were hijackers on the plane and that they wouldn't make it home. Todd Beamer contacted, contacted an airphone operator. Verizon airphone operator Lisa Jefferson answered the phone, and Beamer explained to her that there were four hijackers on the plane that announced there was a bomb on board. Even though Jefferson knew about the attacks earlier in the day, she chose not to tell him because she didn't want Todd to feel helpless from doing anything to stop the hijackers and to get the plane back to safety. Beamer told Jefferson that a few passengers were planning to take control of the cockpit and turn the plane around. Luckily, there was a retired pilot on the flight, so that meant that they had someone who could fly the plane once they got a hold of the cockpit. Jefferson and Beamer stayed on the phone for 15 minutes with each other. Before Beamer hung up, they prayed together, and then he asked Jefferson to contact his family for him and say that he loves them. Around the plane, there were voices captured screaming, I don't want to die, and people crying out, please don't hurt me. Todd Beamer and the other passengers in involved in attacking the hijackers quietly got back into seats, and when it was the right time, the famous phrase, Are you ready? Let's roll, came out of Beamer's mouth, and they all ran up to the cockpit and started attacking the hijackers. They eventually got a hold of the plane and tried to steer it in the other direction, but the plane was already heading right down to the ground. The plane crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania at 10.03 a.m. Last words ever said on Flight 93 were Allah is the greatest. The 35 feet deep pit that Flight 93 made in the field became a grave to all of those on the plane. The famous phrase that Beamer said on the plane later on became the war cry for those who went to war against Afghanistan. The local post office in Cranberry, New Jersey is named after Beamer. There is also a high school in Federal Way, Washington named Todd Beamer High School. The college that he attended, which was Wheaton College, has a building named Todd B. M. Beamer Student Center in honor of Todd and his fight to try to attack the hijackers. The one-year anniversary of the September 11 attacks 
was remembered by marines and sailors by spelling out Let's Roll on the ship's flight deck. Todd's wife, Lisa Beamer, also made a best-selling book by the name of Let's Roll that talked about her life with Todd and their backgrounds. She explains in the book the moment she realized her husband would never come home again and how she had so much help from the people around her after he died. It was also mentioned in the book how she was pregnant with her third child when he was in the crash. Her daughter was born four months after Beamer died. Todd's father, David Beamer, went around to different locations keeping Todd's legacy by telling people about Todd and what he did on the plane to try to save the lives of the passengers. David Beamer has been on multiple news segments and is one of the board of directors for the 9-11 Memorial, carrying on Todd's legacy forever. Todd Beamer was a very brave and courageous person. He could have stood by and waited to die, but instead he made and carried out a plan to attack the hijackers on board. I think Todd Beamer is a very heroic and brave person. Even though he did not get the end result, he did help risk his life, but even though it caused the plane to crash, he was still a very brave person to do that kind of act. I think Tom Beamer was very courageous and his legacy should live on.